Hey guys, it's Alicia. Today I've got another two ingredient dough air fryer recipe for you and that is for two ingredient dough cheesy Italian breadsticks. I love doing different recipes with the two ingredient dough. I have several of them on my channel. This is just another one that's very good and very easy. And while I am doing these in the air fryer, you can definitely do these in the oven too. If you don't have an air fryer, I just think they taste better in the air fryer. So that's how I'm gonna be showing you them today. But let me jump into the ingredients real quick and show you what you're gonna to need to make these. First off, you're gonna need some self-rising flour, a cup of it, and then you're gonna need three quarter cup non-fat plain Greek yogurt. You're gonna need a half cup part skin mozzarella, two tablespoons shredded Parmesan, a teaspoon minced garlic, three tablespoons of a light butter spread. I'm using this Brummel and Brown with yogurt. And then you're gonna need a little bit of granulated garlic, about a quarter teaspoon. And then finally, a teaspoon Italian seasoning. And this is gonna be divided between the dough and the topping. But that is everything that you're gonna need. Very few ingredients, very simple. Let me get these started. First thing in a medium sized bowl is I'm gonna add in my one cup self rising flour, my three quarter cup fat free Greek yogurt, quarter teaspoon granulated garlic, and half teaspoon Italian seasoning. Then I'm gonna just stir all of these together until they start to form a dough. And that's how that's looking. So now I'm gonna take a piece of parchment paper, put my dough on it, and then I'm gonna just knead this for a couple minutes or so. And if you need to add flour, you can. This time it's looking like I'm not going to. My dough kind of turns out differently every time I do it. It kind of depends on how much moisture is in that yogurt, humidity, all kinds of things. So this time it's, it's working pretty well without any extra flour. All right, I've got that kneaded. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm going to cut this in half. I'm gonna be making two separate ones of these just because I am doing them in my air fryer and I'm not gonna be able to put the whole thing in there. Now again, if you were doing these in the oven, you would want to just do one big square. I will put it on like a cookie sheet, but since again, these are going in my air fryer, I'm gonna just kind of do two squares that will fit in my air fryer and I'm gonna roll these out, so I'm gonna use just a little bit of flour. I have uh, accounted for an eighth cup of flour in the recipe for kneading and rolling. So I'm gonna take each one of these and I'm gonna roll them out to fit the inside of my air fryer. Got this rolled out, and I just used my little air fryer basket silicone insert as kind of a reference on how, how big to make that. Uh, my air fryer is currently preheating at 350 right now. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my silicone insert back in my air fryer. Over here, I'm gonna put my air fryer basket on this silicone mat to protect my surface from the heat. And then I'm gonna take some of this cooking spray. I forgot to show this in the ingredients, just olive oil cooking spray. And I'm gonna spray the top of my silicone liner with it just a little bit. Those silicone liners are supposed to keep things from sticking, and they do a pretty good job, as I say, but I like to kind of double, double my protection against sticking. So, spray that, and then over here on my dough, I'm gonna go ahead and spritz it with a little bit of the cooking spray too. You could also just use olive oil spray, which I will do too, in a spritzer bottle, I should say. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my dough, and I'm gonna add it to my basket. And you could definitely put this together before you put it in, but it's a whole lot easier to put it in your basket first. Okay, so now I'm gonna add half of my mozzarella cheese to the top of this. And then half of my Parmesan cheese. And then I'm gonna put this in my air fryer at 350 for about five to six minutes. 
And here's how that's looking at six minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out, put it on a cutting board and do the other one real quick. And while that last one is going, I'm gonna go ahead and melt up three tablespoons of this Brummel and Brown. And then here I added a teaspoon of minced garlic to that. I'm gonna just stir the two of those together really well. And I should say, if you're not a huge garlic fan, you could just do the butter and not the added minced garlic. All right, I've got both of these done. So now I'm gonna take my butter and garlic and I'm gonna just brush some of this on each one of them. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more of this Italian seasoning to the top of them. Okay, now I'm gonna cut these up into breadsticks. And I just cut mine into eighths across and then halfwise. And I'm gonna do the same with this one over here too. But you can cut these however you want. Okay, and here all of them are all cut up. Now I'm gonna have ours with some marinara sauce. This is just the homemade marinara sauce that I show all the time. I will link it up above and down below if you haven't seen it. It's really good, low points. So we're gonna dip these in that. But the points on these, if you do a quarter of them, or as I have them here cut up eight pieces, it's gonna be seven points. These are really good, they smell amazing when they're cooking. And if you're craving a breadstick, cheesy breadstick, this will definitely do it for you, I think. And I just love that two ingredient dough. It is so versatile, you can do so many different things with it, and this is just another example of that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I will try and link some other two ingredient dough recipes and air fryer recipes down below if you wanna check out some more things that I do with this dough and the air fryer. But thank you guys as always for watching and I will see you on the next one.